All right, with that said, the first thing you're going to need is a place to heat your water. It can be one of these classics, you know, uh, ceramic top, or it can be the, uh, the old style of uh, coil. But you're going to be boiling water inside of glass. So uh, the gas might be a little bit too hot. Something that you have more control of would be best. These kettles um, that I use, like this one's from Bed Bath & Beyond, um, it's all glass. It's really cheap, $10, and they're, they're really easy to use. Um, then you're going to need something to hold your colloidal silver rod, which uh, these alligator clips are really cheap, two, three bucks, for even maybe at most six bucks at like a hardware store. When you order your colloidal silver, make sure that it's a certified pure. Sometimes they come with paperwork that show that they're pure, and um, there's a lot of sites that offer this. Um, you can hook up the rods directly to a battery or you can use a generator. A generator will um, will just make sure that the amount of electricity going through um, is going to be well, making the size of particles that you want. These colloidal silver uh, generators are on top and if it's steaming uh, it might damage these generators. So you might want to get something that allows you to put the rods into the water and that would be a lot, a lot, more, a lot better so that you don't risk on damaging it. Then you're going to need to store your colloidal silver in some kind of UV protected glass because colloidal silver is sensitive to light and it'll be destroyed within seconds or minutes. Uh, you're going to want distilled water, not regular water, not even reverse osmosis. It's got to be distilled. You don't want any foreign substances in your water when you're making your colloidal silver. You want it to be pure so that the charge that it has on it is only silver. Okay, with that said, here we go. All right, so without uh, further ado, let's take a look at what we're doing here. This is what I did. Um, this is very simple to do. With your alligator clips, you're going to get, uh, well, how many alligator clips do I have for three batteries? One, two, three, and four. And what I did is I hooked up one of these to the small, the small one, not the large one, but the small one. And that one has one colloidal silver rod. The second one is connected to the positive. What I did is I taped these together and what I ended up doing was basically hooking up uh, and this is very commonly shown on the internet you hook up the positive to a negative. So this one goes from, goes from positive to negative and from here it goes from positive to negative again. So this rod is a positive and this rod is the negative. So when you put them together, they're gonna spark. And you don't want that to happen, you don't want sparks. Um, but when you put them in water, right, so what I have, I drilled some holes up here, you can see them, hopefully. And I just put these rods so that they end up going down here into the water. And I'm gonna put the other one. Now because this is not um, distilled water, you can already see that there's colloidal silver being released right away because this is just this is basically just uh, city water um, but if it was distilled water that wouldn't happen nothing would happen those things would not be bubbling and nothing would be happening in this water but because it's city water it has lots of electrolytes lots of impurities and it's just all gonna sink right down to the bottom but if you're going to be making this the right way, this water should be boiling before you even hook up the, the rods. And uh, you want to have your stove on the lowest setting possible because this is glass. You don't want to heat it up too fast. You don't want it to crack. And, um, and you do it for about 30 minutes. The first time you make colloidal silver, it takes a long time to get this kind of silver to come out. A long time because it's distilled water and it has no electrolytes. It's very low amount of current is passing through. Um, but once you have your colloidal silver made, to make your next batch, this is the fun part, to make your next batch when you have a brand new clean colloidal silver, fill it up to about here with just distilled water. And this much of it, fill up with your previous colloidal silver and it's gonna be full of electrolytes, plenty of pure electrolytes to make your colloidal silver. And then it will only really take 30 minutes. The first time maybe up to an hour. Um, but the problem like in here would be, see there's, there's light outside, so there's actually UV coming in here. So closing the blinds would be good or doing this at night when there aren't any uh, ultraviolet rays coming in here because of course, like I said, that damages your colloidal silver. 
anyway, um, so right now I'm using the batteries. The other option would be to use the generator, which you basically hook up the same way. You just put your rods through here and have your generator on the side and set the generator to whatever uh, settings you want. Um, anyway, that's the, that's the quick, quick and easy way of making colloidal silver. And I mean, I can use this to soak my feet in, but personally, I, I like to make it the, the cleanest way possible to allow the fewest amount of impurities as I can make it in as pure as possible is basically the gist of it. All right, thanks for joining me again. If you like what I'm putting out there and this made sense to you and you like the way I'm explaining things, then please subscribe and I'll uh, try to kick out more videos. All right, thank you very much.